Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, welcome back to another reaction video. So, as you guys might know, Chris and Queen just recently dropped another video on YouTube about the whole situation about him cheating on Queen. And the video is called What Everybody Wants to Know. So, I'll be reacting to this video. So, let's get into the video. Hey everybody, my name is Lala. My name is Quay. And today we are going to do basically a sit down with both Chris and Queen, getting everything out on the table because clearly if you guys haven't seen what's been going on, there was a huge, huge incident where Chris cheated on Queen. Three young ladies exposed them and we are going to get all of the answers from their mouths and literally just clear the air. Um, so, first and foremost, let's go ahead and start with the most popular or prevalent thing that we've seen. Is this fake? Are you guys doing it for the viewers, the subscribers? Yeah. Is it real or fake? <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, with that being said, Queen, how did you find out about Yeah, a lot of people were saying that it's fake and they only doing it for more money on YouTube. But honestly, I personally feel like it is a hundred percent true like all this is true like this really happened he really cheated on her you know it's us um <clears throat> i found out basically through fans through snapchat basically i was just home and i was checking my snapchat and i was going sorry guys that's another thing she shouldn't have she shouldn't have to find out through Snapchat or Facebook. If Chris was really a man, he would come to her and he would tell his wife the mistakes he had done before anybody on social media could have told Queen, making her feel stupid and embarrassed. Some my messages, and everybody was screenshotting his video with these three girls, and they were like, um, Queen, go watch this ASAP. And so, you know, at first I didn't watch it, but I, but after seeing it so frequently in my messages, like after almost every message, it's like I had to go watch it. And when I watched it, um, it confirmed. Everything confirmed. Confirmed. Um, what did it confirm and what made you believe it? Were you already speculating that he was cheating already? Yeah, I mean, yes I did. Well, I had suspicions, basically, because of previous previous screenshots and um, receipts and stuff like that. But I never really addressed it, um, at least not to everyone else but him. Okay, so how did you bring it to Chris? Well, he was gone at the time and he was gone at the time and I, and I called him. Well, first I texted him and I said his name and usually I call him baby, but when I said Chris, you know, the period, he knew, he probably knew something was up. So, he called me after I texted him. And he asked me, was I okay? And I told him, not really. And then that's when I told him everything. Okay. So, when she had came to you with everything that she said, basically that she had a suspicion that you were cheating, what was your first, what was your first reaction? I mean, to be honest, I, mean, I honestly just kept running to you. And I kept running, basically trying to get out of the hole that I was already in. And, and, and I, I honestly didn't want to tell you the truth, but eventually I, I finally gave in. The hardest, the hardest thing for me to do, you know, it's if any guy would do this to you know, any wife or girlfriend that you know. Had you seen the videos before she brought it to your attention? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, there's a lot of rumors going around that you had seen the videos and you threatened the... Wait, so Chris, if you had seen the videos before they were posted, didn't you, did like, didn't you know that they were going to get back to Queen? Why didn't you just tell her before she seen it for herself like you made it worse on her for her to see her hat for her to have to see her herself when you could have just told her girls who were in the video is that true yes okay 
All right. With that being said, why did you threaten the girls? I, I, I honestly just feel like they, I mean, I know I'm not making this excuse for what I'm doing, but I, I feel like they're just doing it for views and just, I feel like they're just trying to basically get famous off of, you know, off of our names, so, mm -hmm. that's it. With that being said, the girls mentioned that you, that they didn't know who you were. Um, they had no idea, things like that, and they met you at the club. Did you truly believe that these girls didn't know who you were? You know, it's, 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 it's person being said, you know, no, they probably didn't know. I mean, this person, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, we everywhere, we all over social media, so, you know, I mean, I feel like they did know who it was, you know, so it's just, um, Okay. The girl was really detailed um, about the night that you guys met. She stated that you asked her, and I quote, are you a freak? Mentioning that you wanted to do a threesome with them. Was everything she said in the video along those lines true? Yes. Okay. And with that being said, Queen, when you saw the whole video, what was your first reaction? Did you watch the full video in its entirety? Yes, I did. I watched the full video and I just honestly just shook my head. And I was like more so, I was more so like shocked about it. When I should have been shocked because I already had suspicions, but it was very painful. The, um, the fact that it was, like I felt so embarrassed and humiliated and just hurt to, like to, the, when she gave the details, it just hurt me. Were you around anybody to come for you or were you by yourself? I was around someone. I was actually around um, Chris's friend's sister. Um, so you guys watched the video together? She she seen me watching the video and she heard it. And then she came over at the end and just kind of was like looking at me, shaking her head too. And I was, I don't know, I had so many emotions running through me that I wanted to go pack my bags. And then again, I couldn't leave my baby. It was just a lot running through my head. Um, it didn't hit me just yet, but it still hurt. Okay. Um, Chris, apparently, like, there's so many. It, this isn't the first time. Apparently, there's plenty of rumors online. Was this your first time cheating on Queen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with that being said, do you have a ballpark range as to how many times you had cheated on her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Queen, how does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. I mean, for this to not be your first time, or to be multiple times. I don't know how to feel, to be honest. I just feel, I feel like, I feel betrayed, you know, and I feel like I've been lied to the whole entire time. I'm all along, wow. Um, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It's painful. Okay. Chris, did you ever actually have any emotions for any of the girls who you cheated with? Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily emotion, but I feel for, 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 you know, into somebody else, you know, because I, I did kind of feel like our relationship was, you know, dying down. And like, I felt like everything was for social media. It, it's kind of like I was looking for that for somebody else. You were looking for what in somebody else? To, to somebody, like, basically just a, 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 a relationship again, like, you know, just like. Okay, so, you felt as though you and Queen relationship was going downhill.
Why didn't you just say something to her? Why didn't you just let her know how you felt instead of going out and cheating on her? Like, guys do not think before they do. Like, come on. So you were also looking for a relationship too, not just it. It, it wasn't just it wasn't just that relationship. That's what I wanted to feel. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, feel I guess you know, I mean I guess you can't say a relationship. You know, it was just that I didn't feel it with us no more, you know, I didn't you know, it, I, I just felt like everything was for social media now. Okay. Alright. So with that being said, you what are you guys' current status? Like, what is your relationship status right now? We're married. Are you guys, yes, you're married. Are you guys currently living together? Yeah, of course, we, yeah, this just firstly happened. We, I moved out, he moved out, you know. We still gotta think about CJ, too. You know, it's a lot. You can't just up and just act off emotions. You gotta be smart about the situation and think about it not for just us, but it's about our baby too. So So I saw that you went to Detroit for a couple of days and you've been back. How long have you guys been back in the same vicinity? In the same group? Since the Detroit trip. At this point. I came back um, I think I came back Monday. Three days. Okay. And who reached out to who first? When I honestly, when I got to the airport, I did not want to reach out to Chris. When I got to the airport, I instantly started crying because I just did not want to face them. But it was hard because my baby was at the house and I missed my baby too. So the first baby Chris was still in Houston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was still in Houston. And I called Janae first. Janae wasn't in So I was trying to see somebody else to come pick me up. Because at that point, I felt like I don't know, just lonely and just overwhelmed. And I, you know, but I just ended up going back to the house. I didn't really have too much to say to Chris. I was more so angry at him. But I was happy to see my son. So, what was you guys' first interaction when you first saw each other? I just looked at him. I mean, I just looked at you. And I was angry, you know, so I was acting, I was acting irritated, real irritable. And he was, he was kind of irritable too because of the, the situation, that, how, how bad it was like leaked and like how open it was. You know, he was receiving like, you know, a lot of hate. So he was irritable. I was irritable. I was mad at the fact that this even had to happen, and it wouldn't happen if this wouldn't happen. So I saw your apology video, Chris. Did you do that on your own, or was it something that Queen kind of like persuaded you to do? Mm -hmm. I thought I had thoughts about doing an apology video, but um, um, of course, you know, she said it even. The parents in the public, you know, she said, well, you can apologize to me, you know. And like I said, I, I, you know, I did it in private, you know, and it was just saying everything. You know, but, so, you know, she kind of had to, you know. I told him that if he didn't do it, he said he would do anything. I told him, since you embarrassed me publicly, you apologize publicly. And if he didn't do it, then I was leaving. And he said he would do anything. Okay. That's good. Why did you just say want to comments on the video? Mm -hmm. Cause I, I just already know people is gonna be talking about me. It's not that, you know. It's that I wasn't. I I didn't want to see all the criticism from the, you know from cheating. You know, I know I made a mistake. You know I messed up. You know I gotta hear it from my family. You gotta hear it from you know my wife. You gotta hear it from everybody. So I just honestly just did say the comments because I didn't feel like looking at them. Okay. So let me ask you this. Are you still in love with Queen? Yes, I'm still in love with my wife. I'm, I'm, I'm in love. I love you to death. And you know that I do anything for you. 
uh, you know, I know you go through, you know, I know you go through problems. So, you know, so I'm gonna be bigger than ever, but you know, you know I'm always, you know, you know, I'm always, always love you. And I always care about you. What do you love most about Queen? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I honestly, it just, it's not, it's not a, a most, I just, she's beautiful, she has a beautiful heart. She's talented. She's very, really, very really talented. Uh, she could be my mom at times. She could be my wife. She could be my best friend. You know, lover, sister. She she plays so many roles. You know, so I just I just love everything about her. Do you feel like there was a reason why you felt a life love with me that you had to go look for it in somebody else? Because I can tell you the reason. You said the reason for what? The reason why you felt the need to go look for a relationship. What traits or what characteristics, whatever they did you not see in Queen Actually, that you were looking for in her. someone else? It wasn't, it, it wasn't necessarily about traits or... I, I just felt like we was coming to a point of relationship that I just wanted to give up, to be honest. I was just coming to that point where I just wanted to give up and I just didn't want to be in a relationship and I, I wanted to hold on. And then it's personally saying that let go, you know. I'm sorry, I interrupted. First of all, it's not a relationship. It's a marriage. When you sign that, when you get married and you sign that marriage certificate and you state your vows to each other, it's death do us part. You don't consider that as in a relationship. You consider that as a marriage. So there shouldn't be a time where you feel as though your relationship is going downhill because there's no relationship there's a marriage so if your marriage is going downhill you need to let her know that before you even decide to do anything else because cheating is not going to make anything else better it's not going to make you feel better at the end of the day it's not going to make her feel better at the end of the day <sighs> You know I love you to death, but sometimes I just, it was just telling me, you know, I just wanted to let go, to be honest, you know, and I just felt like it was giving, you know, our relationship's coming to an end, it become fake, so I tried to find that in other people. Was it more of you telling, you telling yourself to let go or hold on to the relationship? Mm -hmm. Let us finish your let's kind of step out on it, but. I mean, at that point, I, I feel like. It, it was more so saying, you know, we should, we should, we should, you know, end it. We should end it, you know, we should end our relationship. Well, I know you heard the term, you never know what you got until you. Until it's gone. Until it's gone. Mm -hmm. So you came this close to really just losing everything. So how do you know for sure that this is where you want to be now? Mm -hmm. First of all, I mean, there's no doubt I'm mean, queen. I, the only female I can see, pitch, I mean, you know, spending the rest of my life with is queen. Um, you know, we, we've been, like, literally high school sweethearts, you know. I remember I met her at a, at a basketball game. And, you know, I tried to get a number. She kind of she kind of encouraged me. She was like, you know, you know, I'm so sick of dudes. You know, and I didn't know her last relationship. You know, she, she was going through it. You know, when I seen her, I just thought she was the most beautiful as girl ever. So, you know, I, I can't picture myself for nobody else for my wife. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta cut too short. I can't watch this video anymore. Now, I, I, I look at Chris so differently now, and like, I feel like everything he says out of his mouth is just a lie, a bull his lie. And he, he's, he's really made a mistake. Like, he's really made a mistake. Like, he came close to not have a queen anymore. And she, like, like he said, he can't picture himself with anyone else. But you, you cheat on her. Like, you don't know what you got. As they said, you don't know what you got until it's gone. And Chris, and queen has been, queen is so good to Chris. Like, she take care of CJ. She take care of him. Like, I don't know, but I just really honestly hope everything works out on their end. Nobody wants to see anybody break up or get a divorce or whatever that may be. 
and I just hope they can really work their differences out. My heart goes out to them too. But be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.